All right, we're going to focus on lattice multiplication here. Lattice multiplication is helpful when you're multiplying large numbers. Uh, using the standard multiplication algorithm, normally we take our top number times the number that's in the ones digit on the bottom number. One times four is four, one times two is two. And then when I move over one space, I have to drop a zero because I'm multiplying by tens now. Two times four is eight, and two times two is four. And then I add 0 and 4, 8 and 2, carry over, and I get 504. When I'm doing lattice multiplication, I put the numbers on the top and the side, where it doesn't matter which one's on the left and which one's on top, as long as you're putting them in the right order, meaning the larger number should be at the top and the larger number should be on the left. So these are the larger numbers, and you're putting them from larger down. Now, I multiply each of the numbers like I would in an area model, but I have this diagonal so that if my number, when I multiply, is larger than 10, I have a place to put it. Uh, I'm not going to have that situation right now. So 2 times 2 is 4, so that's a 0, 4 here. 2 times 4 is 8, that's 0, 8. 2 times 1 is 2, that's 0, 2. And 4 times 1 is 4, that's 0, 4. And it doesn't matter the order in which you multiply those four numbers. Now what I do is I add my diagonals down. So I'm going to take these diagonals here to get my values. 4, 8 plus 2 is 10. So I'm going to drop my 0 and carry the 1. 0, 4, 0, 1 is 5. And then I have a 0 here, which is the number 504, which is what we had over here. Now let's see what happens when we have multiplication that brings about numbers that are greater than 10 in a single digit and what we do when we have larger numbers. If I was to multiply 6,167 by 489, I'm going to have three different rows where I'm going to have to drop down and carry over the zeros. And every time I do that, my numbers sometimes are larger or bigger and I have to stretch it and it doesn't always line up nicely. Um, so I'm going to take 6,167, remember I start with a 6 and I go out right through a number down, and then 489. And I'm just going to be multiplying each number kind of like Battleship or like I said, an area model. 6 times 4 is 24, 6 times 8 is 48, 6 times 9 is 54, 4 times 1 is 4, 8 times 1 is 8, 9 times 1 is 9, 4 times 6 is 24, 8 times 6 is 48, 9 times 6 is 54, 4 times 7 is 28, 8 times 7 is 56, and 9 times 7 is 63. And remember, I am adding each of the diagonals to get my values for each place. And notice how in the previous example, I carried over a 1. I'll show you what it looks like if I didn't carry over. I'll drop that number down below. But starting with the first diagonal here, 3 goes here. Then I have 6 plus 4 plus 6, which is 16. And so I'm going to write the 6 down here, and I'm going to carry over here. Then I have 8 plus 5 plus 8 plus 5 plus 9 plus that extra 1. That gives me 36. The next diagonal over is 2 plus 4 plus 4 plus 8 plus 4 plus that extra 3. That gives me 25, carry the 2. Then I have 2 plus 4 plus 0 plus 8 plus 5 plus the 2 I carried over. That gives me 21, carry the 2. Then I have 0 plus 4 plus 4 plus that 2. That gives me 10, carry the zero, uh, drop the 0 and carry the 1. And then I have 2 plus 1, which is 3. Now, notice that the number that I have here is 3,015,663. That doesn't match what I was writing at the bottom. If I was to carry over like I had, this is 16, I drop the 6, carry the 1. That makes it 36, carry the 3. That makes it 25, carry the 2. That makes that 21, carry the 2. That makes that 10, carry the 1, which is 3. So I have 3,015,663. Now, that's much quicker than if I was to try and use your standard multiplication algorithm. Um, it makes it a little bit cleaner. Just have to remember to keep your diagonal straight, and that's how you do lattice multiplication.